Hello, today I'm going to show you how to rig and animate and import characters, wow characters, into the Blender 3D. I'm going to play them in the Blender game engine with a green screen, so you can use them in like machinimas and so on. So first off, you need wow model viewer. You can download it uh, kind of anywhere, just google it. Free program, and of course you need wow. Loading. Okay, you're in the wow model viewer. Just make yourself a character. I would pick, uh, let's say, a dwarf male, maybe. Yeah, I think you have a good animation. Let's see. Uh, I slow down the speed and pick something. A dance, not that dance. That is very easy to rig, but not that high. No. There we go. And let's see hairstyle. Let's pick something. The beard can be there. Okay, you got the character. He's going to be imported into Blender in this position he's in now. So you just go File, Export Model. Under here you see it says uh, Wavefront dot obj. You want to pick uh, 3D Studio Max dot 3ds. Name him like. I pick one dwarf, so it's easy to find. S uh, I recommend you to save in documents or something where you can reach in Blender. I will show you, it's kind of hard to find files in Blender. But um, yeah, I save in do my documents. Save. I have a Swedish. Close one model viewer. Open Blender. I have the 2.49 version. And you see, if you hold Alt and left click, you can rotate around. You see this cube, the start cube. Just delete that by uh, clicking X and erase selected objects. It's gone. Here, you can see the start point where everything will be spawned. So now you go up to File. There you can find a uh, import and just pick 3D Studio dot 3DS. Pick that and you come into here where you can find your file. No, press one here. It automatically take up desktop and documents. I saved in documents, so I pick that one and I scroll down until I find dwarf it should be there there import 3ds and uh, you get like scale size thing just press ok it's good size as it is and you get this like mesh model but it's in that animation now, you might think, what the fuck, but go into this panel here and pick textured. You see, he looks exactly like in the game World of Warcraft or the WoW model viewer. It's amazing. But, he's imported in different files. Or uh, meshes. The first thing you want to do is go to this panel, the color panel, shading it's called, F5, and go into shaders. You want to do this on every piece of him, and go down here, spec 0 0.5, take that to 0. This does that he don't reflect lightning, you see, if I place P, 
P to play in game engine. He like okay and do the same thing on everything. Let's take a second. Don't forget he has a neck piece. It can be hard to see, but you have to like trick some to get there. I got it there. There. That should be it. When I press P now, still does. No, it's just. That. Okay. Now, press B and you get this like thing and select all the dwarf, nothing else. Not the camera or the lightning or something. And press Control J. Join selected meshes. Pick. Now he is one object. That looks nice. That is the first tutorial we make. Uh, the rigging part I will take in the next one. See you in the rigging tutorial and all the others I will make. Bye.